Hello everyone. In this video, we will use YouTube Data API to fetch YouTube channel analytics in Python. We'll run the code in a Jupyter notebook. I was initially thinking of making a separate video on Google and YouTube API docs, but then decided why not make a tutorial to build something by reading the doc, uh, docs and trying to understand it. Uh, because Google's um, product ecosystem is very huge, the documentation is also as big as that. So trying to understand and find out where a, each, how to do each step of the process using the documentation itself is a very interesting challenge. Google has this API, Google APIs Explorer page, which has a complete list of all the APIs that they have. So we will be using YouTube Data API. This will take us to the documentation, Google um, YouTube Data API version 3. If for any API, uh, to use any API, the first step is always authentication. You have to authenticate your identity so that your account doesn't get mis misused. So here they're saying that you have to use an API key or an OAuth 2.0 token. So we will be using the OAuth 2.0 token. To do this, you have to click on this link. This, um, this developer console link will actually take you to Google Cloud Console. Here, you have to create a new project uh, which we will be uh, which we will be using to create an OAuth 2.0 token and use it in our project. I have already created a project where uh, I've already generated the OAuth 2.0 client IDs while testing out my code. So uh, for you to do this the first time, you have to click on create credentials and then OAuth client ID. Here you have to select web application if you're going to build a web app based on the um, using the APIs. After that, you have to perform a set of steps. Here, you have to generate an OAuth consent screen because you are allowing access to, you're allowing the access, you know, you're allowing your account data to be accessed by these APIs. You have to create a, co a consent screen. When you're doing this the first time, you will see something like, um, you know, you will see a message saying, uh, this is how the con uh, consent screen will look. Are you okay with it? So you have to accept that. After that is done, you have to come back and then set up the complete credentials. You have to then download the um, OAuth client file. So this will be downloaded as a JSON file. So this is the first step in calling the API. Here, if you see, they have two methods here. So list and insert, we will keep scrolling down to see what all content they have. We will now use the channel um, section where we will get information on the channel resource. So if you click on this um, list, it will actually take you to the section for this particular resource. If you click on this, um, code symbol, this will take you to an IDE. Our job is to now run this code in the our own local IDE and see if it works. First off, you have to install these two libraries, Google API Python client, Google Auth OAuth lib. Next, you can try running the code that is mentioned here in your local IDE. But uh, I ran into a problem in this line, flow.run console. If you see the um, Jupyter notebook output, you can see that attribute error installed app flow object has no attribute run console. So I googled the installed app flow documentation and they have mentioned the console strategy and server strategy here but they've given example only for run con run local server. So I assumed that run console might be deprecated 
or um, because i didn't couldn't find any other documentation as to how to use it i replaced run console with run local server because we're using only our local machine it shouldn't be much of a security issue now let me comment this code out and uncomment my original code now if you run it it will ask for an authentication you have to choose the email id that you created the project with and then you will get this message the authentication flow has been completed you may close this window here you will see the um, response for the method that you have called this part of the code is from this example because we are no longer i don't have an example for run console we are using run local server we are using the session variable to create an authorized session and then running a dot get method so with the dot get you need this url to get this url if you go to the ide the inbuilt ide and see like http or curl version you will be able to get the uh, get the url that we need to use other than the url you have to pass a parameter which will get you the suitable response for the um, which will get you response based on the parameter that you passed here i have passed the channel id so like that there are other parameters that you can pass in the url to get different response so this is my tutorial for how to use the youtube data api if it was helpful please let me know thank you for watching